Hi there, this is Jane from the blog chalkitupsuccess.com. Tiny office, tiny desk, but not for long. Today I'm going to show you how we made an L-shaped desk for this tiny space. So here it is. This is the oak countertop which I purchased from my local builder's merchant and it's about 3 centimeters thick and it has a depth of about 60 centimeters which is pretty standard I think. So um, the first thing I did was to sand it until it was smooth and now I'm sealing it with a ready-made oil wax mix. This doesn't yellow in the sunlight and it also doesn't change the color of the wood um, like some oils do. But you can read more about this process in the blog post over at chalkandupsuccess.com. Somehow this room looks smaller now to me than it did when we had all the uh, furniture in it but anyway this is how it looked after I took all the furniture out. <laughs> it's so tiny. I can't believe I actually work in this room. <laughs> Originally I wanted to make a floating corner desk but oak is heavy and we were really worried that the wall supports might not be enough to hold the desk in place so in the end we added three legs as well. One at each end of the desk and one where the two pieces are joined together. So we made these supports from off cuts of wood and we're screwing them to the wall at intervals so that the corner desk will rest on top of these. This is how it looked with the first long piece in place and you can see how the join was made. This is how it looks underneath. We asked the carpenter to make these holes for the clamps so that we could clamp the two pieces together so they're glued together and they're clamped together. And then we put the IKEA leg on the join as well for a bit of extra support. I have no idea how a room can look bigger with a fitted desk inside it but to me it really does look much much bigger and I've still got a few things left to do in the office, it's not completely finished yet. Um, there's a gap at the back of the desk for all, where all the computer wires go down and I want to buy some wood trim to seal that up and just leave a little gap behind the monitor. I want to get some some wall art or prints um, for the walls but I also need a task lamp. I've got this lovely side desk where I can spread out my, my folders when I'm working on them and the light in this room is absolutely fantastic for photography but up until now it's been almost impossible for me to shoot in here without removing half of the items in the room first so now this side desk is the perfect space for a flat lay shoot and in fact I shot my most recent stock bundle in here and this is how it turned out. And that's already been uploaded to my shop on Creative Market. So at last the biggest project in this room, um, build a corner desk, has been ticked off my list and this tiny office makeover is well on its way to being finished. Still got quite a few things to do but they are smaller projects and if you'd like to see what I've got planned you can pop on over to the blog chalkingupsuccess.com and you'll see, see it all in the, in the blog post. If you like it give me a thumbs up, if you don't like it give me a thumbs down, <laughs> I don't mind. That's all from me today at chalkingupsuccess.com. Thanks for watching to the end of the video and I'll see you next time.